Brown, thanks again once again for tuning into Porch Talk. Of course, we're still in the house because it's still winter time. So, here's a little situation. Of course, I found my story from the shade room, as I always do. Two black high school students suspended after posting a video of white classmate using a racial slur. So, just a little background on the story. I want to know what you guys think about this. Two black students were given a two-day suspension after reposting a Snapchat video of a classmate saying the N-word. According to BuzzFeed, the situation happened at Central Cabarrus High School in Concord, North Carolina, mm. after a discussion about gun reform turned into an argument. Gun reform. Hmm. The high schoolers were reportedly debating about Wednesday's national school walkout and how the, they felt gun laws should put more restrictions on who could buy them. Carmari Harris Jackson, a 15-year-old sophomore, posted a video on Snapchat and that resulted in a white female student posting a response video saying they're putting laws on who can purchase a gun. No nigger. Well, Harris Jackson and her best friend Trinity Smith took offense to the remark and decided to repost their video on their Facebook and Twitter accounts. I would have. Me and the girl who said it were friends before this happened. We had a class together, we would talk together, but as soon as I have a difference in views, you call me a very harmful and offensive racial slur. That's what they do. She said it in a joking manner, but there are boundaries of things you joke about and that's not one of the things you joke about, she explained. The principal got involved after the other students started posting videos sharing their experiences of racism at the school. According to reports, the principal also got email complaints from current and former students who took the side in debate. The young ladies took the post down after being asked by school administrators but found out the next day they both received a two-day in-school suspension for creating a disruptive environment. Okay, wait, so let me make sure I understand it. So did the one who said the n-word and the people who posted it get suspended? No, that's not what the story says. I, I wanted to make sure I, I wasn't, you know, I was trying to be the devil's advocate here. So. It was the repost. We're having a conversation about gun reform. The black chick posts a video about it, gives her views on it, and the white chick is basically like, no nigga, you know. Um, that is not appropriate. <laughs> Why does she think, we might be friends, boo, but you can't just say anything. That's an oppressive word, you no, know, okay, that your people okay. use to oppress my people with. I mean, we use it, but we're not getting, that's not the argument of today. Let's talk about racism or race appropriation. Look, here we go. Uh-oh, <laughs> culture appropriation. Race <laughs> vocabulary appropriation. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Race, I'm making this up today. So race <laughs> vocabulary appropriation. Right. That needs to be a thing. You heard it first on Rocky Road Productions, Correct. LLC. <laughs> we can say certain things you can't. I think it's good that the students are talking about this whole gun thing. It shows that they're aware and they're seeing what's going on and they know it's a problem. Their parents are probably talking about it, no doubt. I mean, because usually kids bring them from home and they bring them into the school, so that's good. But I don't understand how the other two that posted it they weren't the ones that got suspended. I mean, not posted, I'm sorry. The one that said the remark, the repost, and she gave her remark on it, saying the N-word, she should have gotten in trouble. Not the ones who were just minding their business talking about it or whatever. I just think that's so ridiculous, and I think that is further making it okay. I think it's sending the message that, oh, it's okay that you got called a nigger, but the problem in this situation is that I was being bothered with too much chaos and parents calling or writing or whatever, and I just don't want to deal with it, so I'm going to suspend you guys because of your outrage on the matter. It caused this disruption. Well, they should have the right to be outraged. And what does their Twitter and Facebook accounts even have to do with fucking school? Last, and, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> if, 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 if it's about that, then fucking suspend the girl that said nigger. Do that. Last time I checked, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram didn't have shit to do with school. That's what I thought. Right. I, I, that, that's not in the curriculum to, you know, because if that was the case, then a lot of motherfuckers would know how to spell, uh, use proper grammar, and that would be done on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, because... A lot of y'all don't know how to spell or use they, their, your, your, you know what I'm saying? But Two, two, and two. <laughs> but back to it, like, this makes me mad because it's always like when the black people, when we point out, oh, oh, 
you're racist. You're racist. Oh, no. No, not me. I was just joking. No, bro, I'm over it. But then we get in trouble for it. Because I had a situation like this in high school, and it's not exactly the same situation, but it was this white boy in my class. He was cheating off my paper. And I'm like, yo, like, you need to chill out. Stop. Whatever. I'm like, you being stupid. And I ended up getting suspended because I caught him stupid. Mm -mm. He's cheating off my paper. So this pisses me off because I've been through it. It's not fair. And once again, that's why I believe in the fact that we need to educate our own kids. Because if the system does stuff like this, imagine, and we already know what the system does to adult black people in general. It, it's not fair all around. So we may as well create our own schools, homeschool your kids, all of that. Because regardless, nothing's fair. And they're always going to protect their own first. Mm -hmm. The school is white. Let's keep it 100 Right. So they're going to protect their white students before they, oh, oh, Tyrone and Keisha, they acting up, they posting. No. No. I think to your point with the whole schooling thing, I think, not me personally, I don't want to open up a school in my home because <laughs> I don't want to do that shit. I'm career focused. It doesn't mean that I don't care about my kids and their education. It's just that I don't have, that's, everybody has their forte, everybody has their interests, everybody has things that they're good at. Fortunately, I wouldn't be good at that. I'd probably be thumping my kids upside the head before I knew it. So, you know, I don't want to. But I think somebody should open a school, somebody who's willing to do that in the black community, and then we send our kids there. People that want to volunteer or whatever, I don't know, they will figure that out, the logistics of that. I'm not really into that. But that's just pretty much the story. You guys let us know what you think, and thanks again once again for tuning in to the Porch Talk. Bye! Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porsche Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right. You'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.